Okay, I'm going to briefly go over uh, what is a content management system, or popularly known as a CMS. A content management system is a way to have uh, to build a website off of an existing platform. I'm going to demo uh, a content management system which we built TechScout off of, which we also build websites for other clients, and that's off of the WordPress platform. So quickly, I'm going to go in here and, and demonstrate what this particular content management system and how it lays out. There's all different types of flavors of content management systems from Joomla to Drupal to, to Ning. Um, there's thousands of them actually, but they work around the same concept of being able to take data from a database and be able to resolve it into pages like you see here. You know, this information right here is coming from a database that WordPress is tapping into. So let me briefly go in and show you how this works. So I'm going to log in to this particular content management system which is WordPress. You're going to see here there's a dashboard. A dashboard allows you to access all of your tools. So for WordPress you're able to uh, post blogs. So that's what you'll see here. I have posts. And so that allows you to, to dynamically manage through a browser because you can see here I just logged in through a browser. You're able to manage posts, pages, categories, menus, comments, themes, um, headers. So that allows you to tap into through your browser by logging in, being able to manipulate this information that could then resolve into a web page which your customers could see. So you'll see here, here's how you can do posts. You can actually add a new post by just putting in the title information. You're, you can either, what's powerful about a lot of content management systems, you're able to either edit content, add and edit content through a visual editor, which looks more like a Word document, or through HTML, where you can add in HTML, which is the same as if you built a website through Dreamweaver. So it just provides these tools for you. So you can take a look, and if you wanted to add pages or look at your recap of pages. So you can take a look here on my about page. Log in so you can actually take a look at it through an HTML as the code resolves to the visual. So that's the power of a lot of content management systems. You can edit and add in a visual mode or an HTML mode. So you come in here a little bit deeper and you can take a look at uh, say the plugins. Well for content management systems, this is different with other content management systems for, for specifically for WordPress. Plugins allows you to uh, tap into what others have built. So the core of WordPress has a, a set specific amount of functionality. Plugins are what other software developers have created to allow you to use. Some plugins are free, some require payment. And there's quite a few of them are available for free if you know what to look for and you know how to install them. So you'll take a look here, you can see there's a uh, uh, add to share. So what this does is that on your blog post it allows for Facebook sharing, Twitter, LinkedIn, to where the core of the WordPress doesn't have this, but you can add it by bringing in a plugin. Same thing with SEO, which is search engine optimization. Uh, you can have a, if you wanted to be able to feature a business directory on your site, you could bring in free plugins, which allow you to add business directory listings and have them shown through your site. Same thing with contact forms. Uh, there's just a number of things. So Facebook comments, if you want to have the ability to uh, feature Facebook comments inside your blog, WordPress allows you to do that. So there's also plugins to be able to feature photos through galleries, video through YouTube. Again, you can actually embed, anybody can embed a YouTube video inside a page, but plugins allow you to dynamically list those, those videos differently than the core of what WordPress allows. So basically what it is is the these content management systems allow you to allows the user of the website to add their own content ed, edit their own content and bring in additional functionality to where if they used say something like Dreamweaver they would have to be an expert at code so you can get away with quite a bit by being able to harness the power of a content management system and that's the value of it and that's where a lot of websites are going to thank you